I decided to take a trip to probably the most infamous state in America, Florida. <laughs> Now I know what you're thinking, why would anyone want to go there? How could you possibly want to be in the same state as a man who thought it would be a good idea to throw an alligator through the drive through window at a Wendy's? I'll tell you why. The Kennedy Space Center. Now the Kennedy Space Center is one of NASA's field centers, and it's the primary place where manned rocket ships launch from in the United States. What's funny about the Florida trip is I planned the trip so while I was in Florida there were going to be two different launches at the Kennedy Space Center. So the plan was to go to at least one and get some cool footage of it for the video, but the the weather delayed both the launches, so I didn't get to see any. So I'm sorry, but there will be no rocket launches in this video. Now, what we did see was the entire visitor's complex at the Kennedy Space Center, which was absolutely amazing. Today, we're at the Kennedy Space Center. <laughs> Starting from when you first walk in the Kennedy Space Center, you're in this kind of outside area and there's just these giant rocket parts sitting everywhere just surrounding you. And you can go up and some of them, they even let you touch or sit inside. You ready for lift off? <laughs> Then we went into the first building and it was really cool to see some of the real rocket parts that had been used in launches just sitting around and they had a bunch of different models and stuff you could look at. Astronaut food. You got some crackers. Oh, it looks like a shark. <laughs> they had this kind of like ride, but it wasn't really a ride. You were kind of just sitting in front of this projector screen. And it was supposed to be like a Mars mission type thing. I tried to film some of it, but then they got mad. It stands three times higher. <laughs> so then after we looked around that building, we had to get on a bus to go to the next part of the Kennedy Space Center tour or whatever. So we got on the bus and we drove past NASA's vehicle assembly building where all of the rockets are actually built. And it's a super big building. It's hard to see from the, from the camera, but it is huge. And also on that bus ride, SpaceX was transporting some rocket parts. So we got to see that, which was kind of cool to drive past that. We finally got to the next building and this building was all about the moon landings. And one of my favorite parts of the entire thing happened in this building. They kind of sat us down in this room and it was one of NASA's real command centers that was used for the Apollo missions. And they simulated a real launch that happened at the, this command center. So they kind of like, they had a countdown going and you could see on the screens, the rocket launch happening. And when the rocket actually launched, the whole room was shaking. I don't even know how they did it. Like the windows were like making noises and stuff. It was really cool. That was probably my favorite part. And then after that, we walked into the next room, which is a big giant open room. And they had a real Saturn V rocket sitting in the room. Apparently it was for a mission, but the mission got canceled, so they decided to just put it on display. And it's, it's the same rocket that took astronauts to the moon. So you can see how big it is. You can see me standing next to it. It is huge. It takes up this entire room. They had a few other moon things in this room, like one of the moon landers and just different artifacts and whatever. Okay, walk on the Rainbow Road. That, that was not even close. And they had this kind of vault room that had real moon suits and moon rocks and stuff like that. They got real moon rocks. There's multiple. That's like an amethyst almost. It's crystal. Look at that. That's cool. Manually. There we go. How valuable do you think that is? It's a little rocket. It was an award. This is Iron Man Mach 1. Whoa, okay, that spacesuit looks not like a spacesuit. This is like Mark 1. That's like the comic books of like people going to space. That's what yeah. they look like. That's like a scuba suit. That's what this one looks like. And then it keeps going. These are all real spaces. That, that's a Shepard suit. This is the spacesuit for the first American in space. Alan Shepard. That's cool. Yeah. Well, also, what I thought was cool, they had this like little retro area where it was kind of back in time. They even got retro carpet and couch. 
supposed to be 1969, I guess, because that's when Apollo 11 happened, and you could sit on the couch and, you know, watch the old TV. It was pretty cool. Spaceship if you lived in 1969. We took the bus back to the starting area where we started in, and we got lunch. What would you like to eat today? And I guess NASA really likes Little Caesars, because that's what they had. Oh. It actually looks good. I'm trying to eat my food. Look at that. The third building was all about the space shuttle program, and they had the real Atlantis space shuttle on display just right in the middle of the building. They also had a lot of these like flight simulation games that you could play. They were kind of hard. I didn't really, I wasn't really good at them. Uh, okay. <laughs> Going in for a landing. Oh no, this one's right here. Hold on. Not your average telescope. That's the Hubble. Space man. Is the underside of the space shuttle? It's you. It looks like it. Those are all heat absorbers. They also had a slide, so you know I had to try that. We mark the unofficial touchdown time at uh, five days zero hours. You are halfway there. Go. You are halfway there. You're kidding me. Break open the atmosphere over the Indian Ocean. Go. Go. Land. Land. I swear this is X plane. The mobile app. I got it. Landing. Reset. Okay. Oh, oh, I see this vehicle assembly. It's stuck. Okay, there it is. See the landing pad? <laughs> Space NASA shop world largest. Yeah. Okay, this is the underside of the space shuttle. You can see all the different panels. You see it's numbered because it's each one has a little number on it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. There was a lot more actually there than you can really see in the video. So if you're ever in Florida, I highly recommend checking it out. It was actually a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. If you guys enjoy videos like this, where we're kind of going somewhere and showing off what we saw there, leave a like on the video so I know, so I make more videos like this. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.